okay so hey guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be grading prem goalies so if you haven't seen already we've done uh well i did grading prem strikers which might be on the i button right now or well, you have to have a look at that um but yeah i did that and now i'm doing goalies um if you want me to do midfielders and maybe defenders but that's a bit hard i mean i could do like maybe left backs or right backs or center backs or something like that uh if you want to do that like the video i guess if it gets like don't know five six likes uh, i know that's not a big for but you know it's big for my channel um then i'll do grading prem other positions and put that down in the comments below what other positions you want me to grade if you do um but um, yeah, like sub uh, like the video if you do like the video, subscribe if you are new, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So, starting off with Arsenal, we've, uh, oh yeah, also I've added like, there's a couple from like, like there's two from a couple clubs, but that's just because it's kind of like maybe like Mimi or because they're actually like a good backup, and but um, yeah, most of them are just one player. Uh, but starting off, we've got Leno, um, very good goalie. I think I think he he's quite underrated really and I, I do think maybe if he had a bit of better like a better defense in front of him last season then they would have done better but I think he's a decent goalie solid goalie he's not made many of bad mistake um so I've got him in a B which is quite a good start to be fair um we've got Aston Villa next we've got Martinez Martinez I think last season when Leno was out he stepped in and did really really well Arsenal just to go out and sell him like that was quite a big of a shot, but I guess he is too good of a keeper. Oh, sorry, um, too good of a keeper to just be sat on the bench. Um, but I I think he's done well coming in at Villa, and even though he did concede four goals last game, he's still a very good keeper. And I've got him as a C, as a C, first C and first B. Um, I think it's Brighton next. Uh, Brighton, we've got Matt Ryan. Ryan, I think he's quite a good keeper, kind of underrated, uh, well, in the Brighton squad at least, um, but I still don't think he's quite reached his potential and is in his prime yet, but I think when he gets in his prime, he could be a very good keeper, uh, but at the moment, I've got him in E. Um, we've got Burnley next. Burnley, I've got Pope, so Pope, very good goalie, uh, last season, almost getting the golden glove, but just missing out, I think this season... Has been a bit unlucky, haven't really started the best, but I still think he's a solid keeper, and he started this season quite well, I think. Um, but yeah, so I've got him also in B with Leno. Um, I believe we've got Chelsea now. Chelsea, I have two keepers. We'll start off with Mendy, the new keeper who has just joined, um, and I've got I've got him as a C because I think. He he is he was very good in League A and deserved a move to Chelsea, but hasn't quite shown. He hasn't really had enough time to show anything massive yet. Uh, so I've got him in a C. Um, yeah, sorry if I miss your backup keeper or something. I'm only doing a certain few backup keepers just because of like I said before, they're either like a meme or they're decent enough to start for most clubs. Uh, we've also uh, talk about memes. We've got Kepa. Kepa, I think. I mean, I put him in an F. I think it's it's maybe not because well, if you think about it, the the people I'm putting in E are probably worse, but they're not the like most expensive goalie in the world. Like, well, actually, transfer the expensive goalie in the world. Um, so they 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 have a right to not be as good. But Kepa, most expensive goalie in the world, just not that good. He's made so many of a mistake. And can't really see to save anything. And I think he's move. He has to move. He, he can't stay at Chelsea. And in gen January, I'm interested to see if he does move. And if so, what club want him? Because uh, he's still. A I st I think he still could do good, but um, not at Chelsea. Chelsea is not the club for him. So I've got him as an F. First F. Um, next up, Crystal Palace. We got Guaita. I think he he didn't have the like. He hasn't. He's kind of dipped in and out of form but at the moment seems pretty stable and i stayed in the squad for quite a while now and has definitely improved but i still got him as an e um 
who's next? I believe it is Everton. Everton, we've got Pickford. Pickford, I don't think is that good. Like most of people, isn't that good. Definitely should not be our starting keeper. I, I think he could be a good keeper, but he's just not that good at shot saving and he's not really very reliable in goal. But I've got him as an E as well, so it, he's just really just not really my type of goalie and I definitely think Pope should start over him for England or Henderson which we'll probably get on to later. Um, moving on now we've got I believe Leeds. I think I've got that right. Hopefully I've got that right. Uh, Leeds we've got Messlier. Um, I don't know much about him just because he joined at the start of the season and hasn't played loads uh, but Leeds seem to be doing all right, but it's just because he hasn't played loads, which is fair enough. He just hasn't really had time. Uh, I believe he joined the start of the season. Might be wrong. I can't really remember. Uh, but I've got him as an E as well. I just haven't seen quite enough from him yet. Um, next up, we've got um, we've got Leicester. We got oh Schmeichel. So Schmeichel, I've got as a D. I think he is a very reliable goalie. Very underrated. Not quite as good as he was in that one season, but I mean, I doubt he'd ever get back to that because that was just mental. Uh, but he's still a very, very solid keeper, and D, I think, is fair enough to him, and he has got a Premier League trophy. Um, well, as long as... I don't think anybody else I've said has got a Premier League trophy. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, moving on to Fulham, we've got Ariola. Um I think he's he's decent. He's not amazing. He's not ama he wasn't amazing at Real Madrid and to go from Real Madrid to Fulham is a bit of a downgrade really. Um but I I I don't think he's really done that good. The Fulham haven't really started the greatest. Have just got a win against, you know, this, this club right here. But um you know, I still don't think he's amazing so I've got him as E. Uh next up we've got um Man, no, Liverpool. I miss Liverpool. Sorry, how do I miss the Premier League champions? Anyway, uh, we've got two two uh, goalies. Uh, we'll start off with Allison. Of course, has to be an A. The first A, I think, probably the best goalie in the league. On the push to maybe the best goalie in the world. There might be a few competing with him, but he is very very good. First season done amazing, and since then, is still a very very solid keeper. And I I think. He, he's going to have quite a few more seasons being up there as one of the best keepers in the world. Um, so I've got him there. Next, oh, and then we've also got for Liverpool, Adrian, which is the complete opposite. I've got him as an F. I don't really know what Liverpool were thinking. I guess when, when they were looking to buy him, he was a free agent and they were thinking, oh, he's free, don't really want to spend that much on a backup keeper and I doubt he'd play that much. But he has ended up playing quite a lot. And he's really, really not that good. What were Liverpool really thinking if, you, if you're going to get a keeper who couldn't even make it at West Ham? And even in his best days, was still at his West Ham club that was almost close to getting relegated. I, I really don't think he's that good. He's my second F. Um, so, you know, just not the one. Um, next up, we've got um, Edison. Well, Man Manchester City, Edison. Um, Edison, I've also got as an A, I think is an amazing keeper, quite underrated really, I don't think he's quite as rated as he high, highly as should be, of course getting Golden Glove last season, and still very, very solid keeper, I think going from Bravo to him is a massive upgrade, and Man City have done well to find him to be fair, um, so yeah, I've got him as an A. Um, next up, we have Manchester United, and we have two keepers, uh, we'll start off with De Gea, De Gea. I think is he, he he's still good. Like you can't get me wrong, he's still good. But he's definitely not where he was. He's not as bad as people put out to be. But he's definitely not where he was, and um, has kind of slipped down the pecking order a bit. And maybe should have left to go Real Madrid. I don't really know how much that would have helped his career. Uh, but I doubt Man uh, Real Madrid won him now. But he's still starting pretty much every game for Man United. So I've got him as a C. I think that's fair enough. Uh, we've also got Henderson. I thought I might as well put him in because he is a very, very good keeper. Like last season, you've seen it with Sheffield United. He did very, very well. 
and he he just hasn't had like any kind of chances and I think really should leave the club or at least go back on another loan to somewhere um but you know he he decided to stick about I doubt he's going to stick about for much longer and probably will go on loan in January or leave uh because he he doesn't he can't be sitting on the bench he's such an amazing keeper uh but I've got him as D just because uh he hasn't like done He's done like really well, but he's just not quite proven enough. So I've got him as a D, but easily can go up to a C if he does end up leaving. Um, next up, we have um, Newcastle. Newcastle, I've got Dubravka. I think one of the better stops, uh, shot stoppers in, uh, in the Premier League and is a very, very good underrated keeper. And I, I think I've said this a couple of times. Uh, but I've got him as D as well. I think very, very good, very underrated. But if Newcastle defence was just a bit better, he would be, uh, he could be, like, uh, he could really, really shine. Uh, but, you know, I've got him as a D. Next up, we've got Sheffield United. I've got Ramsdale. Ramsdale, I think, is is decent. He was all right at Bournemouth. Uh, even though they did get relegated, and was it was good for him to move to Sheffield United. They haven't started in amazingly, um, but he is a decent goalie. He hasn't quite proven himself, so I've got him in E. Um, next up, we have uh, Southampton, I believe, uh, and M- McCarthy. Um, I've got him as an E as well, I think. is getting better with the whole team improving, really. Um, but not quite like not quite there. Could maybe get to a D, but not at the moment. But he's definitely better than what he was a few seasons ago. Uh, so I've got him as an E. Next up, we have, um, I believe Spurs. Um, I believe Spurs. Oh, uh, oh yeah, and I've got one kind of shout out at the end of the at the end of, after doing all the clubs. Uh, but yeah, we have got Spurs next. And we've got two goalies. Uh, I've got Larice first. I'll do him. Uh, I've given him as a B. I think definitely isn't isn't as good as he used to be, but he's still an amazing keeper and is still kind of underrated, really. Uh, but I still think he's very very good and could get into most Premier League sides. So I've got him as a B. Um, next up, we have the other um, Spurs goalie. Joe Hart. I thought might as well put him there. Kind of a, kind of an English legend. I mean, if you call him that, <laughs> um, kind of more of just a you know who he is, but you don't really want to talk about him kind of player. Um, Joe Hart almost went to Shrewsbury Town. Um, definitely, definitely isn't as good as he used to be. But you, you got to give credit where credit's due. He was a very, very good keeper in his time. So I've got him as an E, not quite an F, but I think. I think he probably should retire now, really. I know he's not that old, but probably should, unless he just wants to be playing non-league soon or just sitting on the bench with um, Spurs. Um, Next up, we have West Brom, I believe. Um, Sam Johnson. Um, I've got him as an E, I think. Very, very good shot stopper, but isn't quite suited, like, hasn't quite done that well getting into the Prem. He had a few good games, um, but at the moment, I I still don't think he's quite there, and um, I can't really put him any higher than E at the moment. Maybe if he was at a different club, but you know, oh sorry, something has come up on my screen. There we go, it's gone. Um, so yeah, I've got him as an E. Next up, we've got West Ham, and we've got Fabianski. I think he's definitely better than what he was, especially with uh, West Ham doing well now. But he's still not amazing, and an E for me. Um, but next up we've got Wolves and Rui Patricio, the last club. Um, and I've got him as a D, I think. Decent de- decent keeper. Um, ha- you don't really see much about him, but he's pretty solid and have helped Wolves get to where they are, really. Um, so I've, I've put him as a D and I think that's a, a fair enough representation. Um, but the honourable kind of like shout out or mention that I'm going to give out. It sounds like he is a YouTuber, really. Uh, but he's not. <laughs> I mean, he might be. You never know. Um, we got Petr Cech. I know he kind of come out of retirement just to sit in the like reserves or something just because 
uh, Chelsea needed, well, wanted to put in extra players. Um, but I've got him as an A. <laughs> You've got to put him as an A. Who, what kind of keeper he was, he was so, like, an amazing keeper. And really, like, you don't see many keepers like him nowadays, but it, I do really like, I did really like him and respected him. Um, so, yeah, that's why I've got him as an A, but I've just thought that was an honourable kind of, like, mention or shout-out. Um, and that's just because he's just kind of been put back into the Chelsea squad, even though he probably won't ever play. Um, but, yeah, that is the end of my video. Hope you do kind of agree with me. If not, put that in the comment section below. If I missed anybody, uh, put that in the comments below. And if you want me to do a grading prem different position, put that in the comments below. And, yeah, if I get, don't know, five, six likes, I'll do a different position. Um, if I what if you if I don't then I just won't uh, and then I'll just keep putting on like other videos uh, putting out other videos. But um, yeah, if you're new and you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe, like the video if you do indeed like the video, and thanks for watching.